This article is given voice by Liam Keen. The audio is available to be shared, copied, distributed, transmitted, remixed, and adapted under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license. This license does not affect your use of the work through fair use provisions or any other rights you may have. This recording is based on the article as it existed on April 27, 2011, and does not reflect subsequent changes. Kid Cuddy from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Scott Ramon Seguro Mescari, born January 30, 1984, better known by his stage name Kid Cuddy, is an American rapper, singer, and actor. He first gained major attention after the release of his debut mixtape, A Kid Named Cuddy. In 2009, his single, Day and Night, reached the top five of the Billboard Hot 100 and Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs charts. Day and Night is part of Cuddy's debut album, Man on the Moon, The End of Day. Cuddy has also worked with Kanye West, Common, David Guetta, and other artists signed to the Good Music label. Section 1. Early Life Kid Cuddy was born in Cleveland, Ohio, and grew up in Shaker Heights and Salon. His father, a house painter, substitute teacher, and World War II Air Force veteran, was Mexican Native American, while his mother, a middle school choir teacher at Roxborough Middle School in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, is African American. When he was 11 years old, Mescadi's father passed away from cancer. His passing would have a significant effect on Mescadi's personality and subsequently his music. Mescadi attended Shaker Heights High School for two years, then transferred to Salon High School and later earned his GED. Eventually, Mescadi studied film at the University of Toledo, then dropped out after a year. Section 2. Music Career It was towards the end of high school that Mescadi first began rapping, inspired by alternative hip-hop groups such as The Far Side and A Tribe Called Quest. He moved to Brooklyn in New York City to pursue a music career. In July 2008, Kid Cudi released his first mixtape, A Kid Named Cudi, in collaboration with New York streetwear brand Ten Deep as a free download. The mixtape quickly caught the attention of Kanye West, which in turn spawned his signing to Good Music later that year. Kid Cudi was featured on Kanye West's 2008 album, 808s and Heartbreak, singing with West on the track Welcome to Heartbreak, and helping with songwriting on Heartless and Paranoid. Welcome to Heartbreak peaked at number 87 on the Pop 100, and music videos for both songs have been released. Cuddy was then tipped as an artist to watch for in media such as Rolling Stone, Vibe, The Source, XXL, and BBC News's Sound of 2009 poll of up-and-coming acts. MTV News also reported on Cuddy on a series of reports, MCs to Watch, in 2009. His first television appearance was at the 2008 MTV Video Music Awards, alongside Travis Barker and DJ AM. On February 17, 2009, he appeared on Snoop Dogg's MTV talk show Dog After Dark, performing day and night at the end of the show. Two days later, on February 19, 2009, Cuddy appeared on BET's 106 and Park with Kanye West to debut the video of Day and Night. On March 16, 2009, Kid Cuddy performed on MTVU's Spring Break Special, and the next day he performed three songs on NBC's Last Call with Carson Daly. He has also appeared as a musical guest on The Late Show with David Letterman and Jimmy Kimmel Live. Kid Cudi also made a cameo appearance next to Solange in the video for the song T.O.N.Y. in February 2009, and later in the Black Eyed Peas video for I Got a Feeling with David Guetta. He has also been on two magazine covers, Complex, August-September 2009, and URB, August 2009. Bape awarded Cuddy his own t-shirt in September 2009 in reward for his music and past employment there when living in New York City. Section 2.1 2009 to Present Man on the Moon series Cuddy's debut album Man on the Moon The End of Day was released on Universal Motown Records on September 15, 2009 and sold 104,419 copies in the first week and charted at number 4. The album's first single was Day and Night, and is Kid Cudi's greatest commercial success thus far, the song charting well both in the United States and in Europe. The next single was Make Her Say, originally titled I Poker Face, which features a sample from Lady Gaga's song Poker Face, 
and performances by Kanye West and Common. On February 25th, 2009, Cuddy self-leaked a teaser trailer for the upcoming Transformers Revenge of the Fallen film, using his song Sky Might Fall in the background. Later, he posted he made the trailer himself and now is in talks to possibly make it official. With Emil Haney, Cuddy produced an exclusive single called Switchin' Lanes for the video game Midnight Club Los Angeles, part of its South Central Premium Upgrade, downloadable content, which came out March 19, 2009 for the PlayStation 3 and March 27, 2009 for the Xbox 360. Cuddy sometimes reveals information about his future plans via his blog, and has said that a possible collaboration with Chip the Ripper could be followed by a collaboration project with electroshock duo Ratatat. During the summer of 2009, Kid Cudi joined rapper Asher Roth for the Great Hangover concert tour. Kid Cudi also featured on the highly anticipated Jay-Z album The Blueprint 3 on the song Already Home. In an interview, Cuddy announced that the follow-up to his debut album will be a collaboration album called Cutter and the Revolution of Evolution. He stated that he already recorded songs with Snoop Dogg, Travis Barker, Clips, Cage, and Pharrell, and would also like to work with Drake, Green Day, Kings of Leon, Robin Thicke, The Killers, and The Postal Service on the album. It's also rumored that Man on the Moon, The End of Day will be followed up by a sequel titled Man on the Moon, The Ghost in the Machine and that The Man on the Moon will be a trilogy, but this has not been confirmed. Kid Cudi was nominated for three 2010 Grammy Awards for his singles, Day and Night and Make Her Say. Kid Cudi was recently featured on Snoop Dogg's More Malice deluxe album in the song That Tree. Kid Cudi also teamed up with Johnny Polygon to remix Johnny's Riot Song, which appears on Johnny's album Rebel Without Applause. On April 20th, 2010, Kid Cudi announced that the name of his second album had been changed from Cutter and the Revolution of Evolution to Man on the Moon 2, The Legend of Mr. Rager. On June 11th, 2010, Kid Cudi was arrested in the Chelsea neighborhood of the Manhattan Borough, New York City, and charged with felony criminal mischief and possession of a controlled substance. Despite his arrest, he was released and made it to Manchester, Tennessee, in time to play at Bonnaroo. On June 30th, Erase Me, featuring Kanye West, was released through the radio. The song was produced by Jim Johnson. In October 2010, Cuddy announced he would be forming a rock band with Dot DeGenius called Wizard. However, in early 2011, he announced he would be making a new mixtape, followed by a rock album. In March 2011, Cuddy announced that a music video for Marijuana will be released in the spring, followed by a music video of Mr. Rager in the summer of 2011. Also, the short film for Maniac, directed by Shia LaBeouf, will be released in October 2011. In April 2011, while performing at New York City's Roseland Ballroom, Kid Cudi announced the new name for his label. The new label, which he will be releasing his third studio album on, is called Wicked Awesome Records. He also announced the name of his new band, To Be Continuum, renaming it from the original Wizard. Kid Cudi explained the reason he changed the name of the band, saying, I needed something more original, something different, but it's still wizardry at its finest. Section 3. Acting Career Kid Cudi is currently starring in the new HBO comedy series How to Make It in America, produced by Mark Wahlberg. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, Available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash three dot zero.